A type of tortoise that scientists believe was extinct was recently found alive. A female giant tortoise from the Galapagos Islands was found and is estimated to be around 100 years old. Their species had been declared extinct for more than a century and the California Academy of Sciences has taken some samples from the female to compare it to the remains of a male. Later today, Democratic lawmakers will introduce a bill to make a temporary children's, program, children's summer food program created during the pandemic permanent. The proposed law would cement and somewhat expand a program created in the American Rescue Plan that provides cash for about 33 million kids in low-income families. It would also secure one piece of the expanded social safety net developed during the national emergency created by the pandemic, just as some republic states begin to cut benefits. Eric Carle, a Syracuse native, has died at age 91. Carle wrote several beloved children's books, such as The Very Hungry Caterpillar and The Very Busy Spider. According to his son, Rolf, Eric passed away of kidney failure in his summer home in Massachusetts. His books have been read by children all across the world for over 50 years. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you are planning to stay after for extra help, please remember you need to sign up for it online. Transportation has to make sure that they have enough buses to accommodate everyone. There will be a mandatory meeting for all students taking AP U.S. History next year on Thursday, June 3rd in the large cafeteria immediately after school. If you are a virtual student, Mr. Eschbacher will contact you. If you cannot attend or have questions, you can contact Mr. Eschbacher at B23 or email msbacker at esmschools.org. See you there. Seniors, time is running out to purchase a senior ball ticket. Tickets will be sold this week. The deadline is Tuesday, June 1st. Remember, we have Friday and Monday off, so plan accordingly. Senior ball tickets are $20 and are sold in the main lobby from 8.30 to 8.50 and during lunch for late arrivals and virtual students. Today we will have a high of 69 with mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow and Saturday will be mostly rainy with highs of 55 and 68. The rest of the week will be in the 70s. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday will be mainly sunny, and Wednesday will be mostly cloudy. I'm Gabby with your weather. In April, Spartan Pride gave its trophy to Miss Corbett. I was very happy to be nominated last month for Spartan Pride trophy winner. Um, because, you know, when you're having a bad day in any job, whatever job you guys choose to do in the future, it's nice sometimes to be recognized for people that uh, work hard and care for their students. So that was really cool. Thank you. Mrs. Corbett nominated Miss Karochi for me. I nominated Mrs. Karochi for Spartan Pride Trophy winner because she, Connie, builds teachers. She runs an amazing program where she gets students in high school to go teach kids at the elementary schools and it's a great experience for kids and Connie is very, Mrs. Croce is very kind and uh, she builds teachers so she's more than deserving of the award. I'm very honored because Crystal is the epitome of Spartan Pride and it made me feel uh, very appreciated. Miss Croce believes Spartan Pride means to take pride in your work. It's 110 percent um, does a lot for the school, volunteers for things, um, and cares a lot for not only their students but their colleagues as well. Congratulations! The New York Knicks got their first playoff win since 2013 last night with the win over the Atlanta Hawks. This tied up their series 1-1. One one. Derrick Rose led the team in points with 26 points coming off the bench. The boys tennis team has a match today at Fulton at 4.30. The boys baseball team plays at home today against Syracuse City at 4.45. The softball team has a game against Corland, and the boys and girls track teams have a meet at, against JD at home at 5. We at Spartan News also want to say congratulations to CNY Central on the soon-to-be arrival of their new, sp new sports news anchor as ESM alum 
Nico Tamarian and Farah Jaj Jajaran, CNY Central Morning News host, announced they are expecting their first child in November. Congratulations, Nico and Farah. And I'm Luke with your sports.